year 2000. I'm a young man just becoming aware of everything that's happening in politics. One day I get an email. In the email, it, it makes the case saying, listen, the Bible says we should pray for our authorities. And not only that, but so far in American history, every president that has been elected on a year that ends with zero has had an attempt made at his life. Some of them were assassinated, some just attempts. They said, we need to pray for the next president. And so I remember 2001, as Americans. President Bush is inaugurated into office, and the normal going to that website, signing up. There was a place, there was a calendar I could sign up. I would fast and pray for our president on this day of the week. I was one of thousands all across America. We were praying for our president, for safety, for wisdom, for leadership ability, for because we wanted him to be blessed so that we as a nation could be blessed. Year 2008. Grateful for the trust you've bestowed. Another president elected. Same organization, still sending me emails. Not inviting me to join them to pray and fast for the president. No. Now they're saying, would you believe what this president is doing? And look what he's done. He's done this and he's done this. We've got to stop him. Go sign this petition. Go, we need to do this. Let people know. We need to expose him and stop him because he's going to ruin America. And what happened? What happened to the prayer? The Apostle Paul in 1 Timothy chapter 2, right into Timothy says, First of all, then, I urge that entreaties and prayers petitions and thanksgivings be made on behalf of all men for kings and all who are in authority why in order that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity we are called to pray for our leaders and i know that the grassroots movement that i was part of that was praying for the president from 2001 to 2008 that grassroots movement is no longer necessarily calling people to prayer, but I'm calling you to prayer. God's word is calling you to prayer. Let's pray for our president. Doesn't matter what his name is. Doesn't matter what he stands for. What matters is that you and I are Christians. We're called by the name of God, and therefore we're called to prayer. Let's pray for our nation. Let's pray for our leader in order that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity.